Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name is Ash and today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own generative art collection that you can then sell as NFTs on marketplaces such as OpenSea. Much like CryptoPunks or Bored Apes, these are generative art collections that now you can use Morales as a one-stop shop to create your very own. So let's get stuck into it. First thing you want to do is decide what your final piece of artwork is going to look like. What is the theme of your collection going to be and what is each image going to generally look like because in our case for example we're going to be creating the Morales mutants survivors of wrecked city because it's Halloween spooky season so why not you don't have to be able to draw you just have to have an idea of what your final piece of artwork is going to look like and how you're going to split that up into layers that means that each instance of your generated art is going to be unique and different in this case, each mutant is going to have a different head, hat, arms, eyes, accessories. Each layer of our mutant is going to be exported as an individual image, which is then going to get run through a piece of JavaScript that I'll go through fully in a moment. This JavaScript is not only going to compile our final piece of artwork from these individual layers, but it's also going to append metadata such as rarity to each feature of our mutant. Once we've got our final compiled PNG image with accompanying metadata. We're then going to run that through our Morales server instance. We're going to save the reference data to our database. But we're also going to host our files, our metadata and our image on IPFS, which is a decentralized file storage system. And then that means we can create a very simple smart contract, which will allow us to create a minting dApp and display our artwork for sale on a marketplace such as OpenSea. And we create that smart contract in Solidity or Rust, depending on which blockchain we want to use. But this is a basic overview of what we're trying to aim for. And what I'm going to do next is jump into Photoshop and show you exactly how my mutant is layered and how we're going to export those layers out as individual images and what, what folder structure we're going to use. So let's jump into that. What I recommend you do next is to go to the GitHub repository link in the description of this video clone down these files into your local directory and in there you'll get this Morales Mutants original artwork. So you'll open that up in your image editing software and you'll see all the layers that I created for my original sketch of the Morales Mutants. So each mutant is going to have this base layer, this base skeleton and then on top of it I've started sketching different uniforms. So this is a Mook shirt and <laughs> We're going to give him a, a Mook hat as well, seeing as he is a resident of Wreck City. We've got clown hair, <laughs> all different accessories. We've got a Waralis <laughs> medallion. Um, but yeah, these are all just different layers that will get generated on top of our character to create our character to give him different features. So we'll show you just some arms. But these, yeah, these are just layers, different images. So. You can turn them all off or on and uh, sketch new layers. But yeah, we've got zombie hands, uh, different kinds of eyes. We've got a, a fly eye, high eyes, white eyes, popping eyes, popped out eyes. So each one of these layers is going to get generated in a character at some point. But what we're going to do is take all the layers of our artwork. Again, you don't have to be able to draw, but just create a piece of artwork with different layers. And then what you're going to do is go to export. Uh, this is in Photoshop, layers to files. But you want to export each of your layers out as an individual image. And then what we're going to do, once we've got our images exported out as individual images, we're then going to put those images into different folders. So you can call these folders whatever you like. And we're going to reference these folders later on in our code. But then inside of each of these folders, you want to have a rare, super rare, or original. This is, as an example, we're going to have three different kinds of rarity per each feature. So we're going to have noses, torsos. We're going to put each of those images. So we've got our torso here. We've got it inside of our original torso folder. So you want to do the same for whatever artwork you're creating. You want to split them up into different folders according to their layers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get into the code and show you how each of these images in these folders gets handled to compile it into a final piece of generative art. 
I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any code editor, any IDE to edit the code base in. What we're going to do, if you haven't already, is clone down the code base. So you want to go to the repository on GitHub, clone down the code so you've got a local copy of it. And then in Visual Studio Code, you want to add the folder to your workspace, which I've already done. And then I've got all the files here for me to edit. And the, the files that we're mainly concerned with are config.js and index.js. So we're going to have a look at config.js first in the input folder. And here, this is where we create our metadata. So we're not so much concerned with the engine. Um, we don't need to know about that. But what we do need to know is how we config how we configure this this engine to match our collection. So I'm dealing with images that are a thousand by a thousand pixels. So you want to make sure that this matches your own artwork. And then what you want to do is create an instance of a Morales server and put that link in here. So you want to go to morales.io. And if you haven't already, sign up for an account. It's free. If you've got an account already, log in. And then once you're logged in, you can see already I've got a server that it's linked to, but you want to copy that server, create a server, copy the link to it, and then paste that into your config.js. And then we've got addition size, 10 at the moment. We could have 100 mutants. We could have 10,000 mutants if we wanted, but we're just going to keep it at 10 different mutants to be generated at the moment just for speed. And then uh, rarity weights and stuff like that. We don't, I mean, to begin our artwork, we don't need to know anything else about the rarity. It's just going to be adding extra complexity. This should work to begin generating your artwork. But the thing most critical in the config.js is how we layer our artwork. So this layers array here, the order in which these get inserted into our array is the order in which we will draw, our, get our final image compiled. So we don't want to have our noses under the background because that will be covered up. So you want to have the thing on top as the last thing you insert into the array and then the first thing as the first thing you insert into the array. So the background is the first thing and so we don't want to cover up our eyes with our mouth, our mouth with our arms. So this is basically just the order in which things get compiled because we don't want our noses to be under the background. So that is about it for config.js. Um, the next thing we get onto the engine, index.js is where everything gets compiled, including our layers. So each image layer gets compiled via canvas and corresponding metadata into JSON files. We don't really need to go into detail about how the engine works. The thing we really need to know is how we link this up to Morales because Morales is our one-stop shop for hosting our files, uploading our files, hosting them and automating the process of creating our collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to morales.io and so if you haven't created a server already, create a server, copy the link to the server, paste that in to your server URL. Also do that for the application ID and also your master key. So because this application is not hosted publicly, it is okay for us to keep our master key here. But normally, if this was a hosted application, then you wouldn't use your master key in a publicly available directory. So I wouldn't show this off. In fact, I am going to be deleting this server after this tutorial. So next, morales.start. This inserts allows us to initiate our Morales server instance, our connection with the server. And then really, we're not going to go into detail about the engine. There's quite a lot to go into. If you would like me to go into detail about the engine and the capabilities of it, then let me know down in the comments below or come join me on Discord. But the main thing we want to know is how we're going to save the files via Morales. So normally, it would be quite a lengthy process to, first of all, save our files, our images, our final piece of artwork to IPFS or to something like uh, Pinata or a third party service where we would host the files, it would normally be quite laborious and a manual process because you'd have to save the files, get the unique um, ID back from where you'd save the files and then put that unique ID into your JSON file and then also upload that JSON file. So it's, it's quite a, a laborious manual process. But with Morales, we can save so much time 
just with a few lines of code. So here, these two lines of code here, we're going to save our, um, our image file and then we're going to save it to IPFS and then we're going to get return back the IPFS ID and then we're going to use that IPFS ID in our JSON file. So here we are saving our metadata file to IPFS and uh, we're also going to be saving it to our Morales database for later reference. But basically it just saves us so much time. In a few lines of code we are saving our image file and our JSON file to IPFS and we don't have to do anything. In fact all we have to do is you're going to go to navigate to the root directory so we've got our mutants NFT engine and what we're going to do is well if you haven't already you want to do npm install hit return and that is going to install all of the dependencies that this code runs on but what we're going to do instead now that we've already done that we're going to say node index.js and this is going to run our code and generate our artwork based on how we've configured it and uh, yeah it's, it's really as simple as that and it's going to upload it to Morales and we're gonna well let, let's inspect it so let's run the code and see what happens so it should generate 10 individual mutants from the the layered artwork that we've provided so let's run it so from the console readout here we can see we have produced 10 unique mutants and then at the end it says welcome to Rex City meet the survivors so let's do that so now in our output folder we should have 10 mutants with their corresponding metadata and this is only because in the code base in index.js not only does it save it to IPFS but we've also for, our, for the purposes of this tutorial and for, for debugging and troubleshooting we're saving the mutants to our local output file so let's have a look so we've got mutant 2 <laughs> we've got mutant 3 Mutant 4, Mutant 5, Mutant 6, 7, let's have a look at 7, their metadata, so just open that up in Visual Studio. So this should be number 7, yeah we've got number 7, description, Morales Mutants. So number 7 is hosted here. So this should come up with a number 7. Yep, there we go, so this is hosted live on IPFS. And this now means that we could then run this through a Solidity contract, turn it into an NFT, put it on a marketplace, and it will be forever hosted in this here, with according to the metadata that we've created. And all we did was run the engine. So very powerful, saves a lot of time. And then what we can do is go to our dashboard on our server. And I just want to show you that, yeah, we saved the, very simply, saved... All that, all that same data that we created in the JSON files. Let's just have a look for. So here we've got file database. In this very simple query here, we're just saving all the data from our generated artwork and the metadata corresponding to it to our Morales server for later use. So we can build applications around this, query this data later, and uh, again. We'll just copy this link. In fact, let's copy a different one, number five. So this is the unique link to our piece of artwork that we've generated. Let's paste that in here. It should say number five in the top left-hand left -hand corner. Yep, there we go, number five. This is number five. Unique piece of artwork, our unique mutant. <laughs> Each mutant is unique. From here, the next step for me is to line work, to color in, to polish, these images instead of this sketchy artwork that I've used to debug whether the generated art works or not. I'm going to create very polished image, way more polished images than this. And then what I'm going to do is plug this engine into a smart contract, into a blockchain, so that we can then create a custom minting dApp so that people can actually go in and mint their own mutants and also sell them on a marketplace such as OpenSea. But that is for another tutorial. For today, that's about it. We've got a very powerful generative art engine that I cannot wait to see what art you produce with it.
share your artwork on the Discord, come and join me on the forum, leave any questions you've got down below. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next one.